sometimes you can use them when you're on the back and I can't get anything with the choke. He's defending that much. Sometimes you can switch to the arm bar and then switch back and choke them out. Um, so we'll just go for your basic arm bar setup. So from here, again, I'm playing this harness position. You know, some people play it like this where they've got arms. Um, one sec. They've got their grips this way or I like this grip. Okay, we're going to switch to Camera Control if we're going to go for the, the arm bar setup. So again, I'm trying to get a choke. Let's just say I'm trying to feed this through, but car stopping everything. I even tried to work that Ezekiel, which was the last move, but he's still defending that as well. Okay, so this right hand that's over the shoulder is going to do a defensive, make a C grip on his left hand and push it out like this. Okay, then I'm going to grip it with a thumbless grip. And my left hand's gonna grab my own wrist like this and I'm gonna roll his wrists down like this. It's called a chimera control, okay? And from here, I'm gonna lift my arm over his head and make a frame and put my forearm in his left jugular, okay? I've gotta make sure the separation, if I'm going for the arm bar, between his head and his elbow or vice versa, okay? So from here, I'm gonna make space by straightening this I can put my foot on the hip, I'm gonna turn my body, so I gotta get perpendicular. As I bring my left foot over, I'm bringing my right over, okay? From here, guys, um, we'll go into what people say you shouldn't cross your legs or your feet in the arm bar, that's not entirely true. If his arm isn't inside and he isn't going for this grip, I'll pinch my knees, okay? I'll grab my hip and this one's punching this through to make it the arm bar. So, yep, yeah, one more time. So I'm on the back, we're playing all the stuff that we did from the start. I've got upper and lower body alignment and attachment, okay? I haven't been able to work the pressure yet because I haven't got on to my side yet to be able to actually bend him back, which is what I want to do when I get this grip. But we're grip fighting from here, so I'm trying to get, look for the rear naked or the double lapel collar choke, can't get this, can't get the Ezekiel, I might switch for the arm bar. So my right hand is just gonna get a C grip, push it down, and then I switch to a thumbless grip. Okay, left hand's grabbing. I roll his wrist down, okay. Bring my arm over the head and he makes a frame, okay, with my forearm in his head. I've gotta make sure that he cannot bring his head towards his elbow. Put my foot on the hip, I'm gonna turn my body to get perpendicular. Watch my left foot, comes all the way over to my right. As I swing my leg over, okay, planting my feet on the mat. If he hasn't got his grip yet from here, I'm bringing this hand to my hip. I've got to make sure I keep his elbow tight in my chest. In my gut. If Carl gets his elbow below my groin, I haven't got the arm bar. I've lost it. This hand's just punching all the way over. Squeeze my knee, pinching my knees. And I have it. One more time. From here, can't get anything. I see grip this. Get a thumbless grip. Bring it over make a frame, cut back. Usually what I like to do is, is just turn on your side now. I'm not really into the arm bar, but sometimes when I churse it, okay, when we do this move here, and I want to be ear to ear. Sometimes in transition of that, I don't be ear to ear. But either I've messed it up, or Carl scooted his hips forward, and when I go to churse it, I end up here. Okay, when I should have been here, and this is when I'll switch to that Camille grip and take the arm bar position. When I end up in a, in a low side chair position, which is here. Or you can hit the triangle, which we'll look at next time. Um, let's just look at, we get to here, guys, which is what we're going to look at. Okay. And in the transition of the arm bar, Carl's clapped his hand. Again, there's different grips. We'll look at this next week as well. But let's just say he gets his grips. Okay, this is when his arm is inside my legs for the arm bar, I'm going to cross my feet. I want to make sure my right foot, which is the outside one, doesn't go on top. Because one of his escapes is to, his hand's going to grip my knee, and push this off, and then he's going to sit up into me, and get my back in the mat, which is his escape. So I'm going to make sure that when I cross my feet, I'm hiding my right foot, let's turn this way. I'm hiding my right foot underneath my left foot. Okay, so if he goes to push it off again, it's quite secure. So, um, again, there's lots of different things you can do. We'll, we'll look at the arm crush one, which is what I like if his hands is low to his body. So I'm gonna switch grips. 
to here. Sometimes he can grab the leg, which will stop his the trigger escape when he runs to or goes to his knees to escape. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna bring my left foot over the top of his of his left wrist. I'm gonna make a triangle and hit this behind the back of his head. From here, just ease it off a bit. And then from here, guys, my right hand's over the top of my left thigh. I'm like karate chopping. Okay, to get the submission. If he lets go, I still have the arm bar. Okay, so we'll go one more time, just from the start. So, from here, okay, make a C grip, which is a defensive grip, to make space. I cup it, I cup it to give my Chimera control. Okay, I roll my wrist down, okay, then I bring this arm over his head to make a frame. So I'm braced so he can't, because his escape will be to get his elbow as close to his head as he can, okay. Put my foot on the hip, okay. I need to move my body perpendicular to get this foot over here, and so I'm over. Okay, he gets his grip, okay. Crossing my feet, making sure my right is hiding underneath my left, like so. Then I'm gonna switch grips from here. My right hand's gonna grab, I'm gonna go for the leg, okay. And if he's making frames and his frames are close to his body, then I'm gonna lift my left foot over the top of his left wrist, make a triangle to get to here, okay? And then my right hand is like karate chopping, okay? My left thigh as I move my body clockwise, okay? It's called an arm push. Okay, so let's draw five on five. 